Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well since it's afternoon here. If you are watching this video at afternoon time, so good afternoon to you as well. Otherwise, good morning, good evening, whatever time you are watching this video. Today's topic is about 10 steps in research process. So research process contains a series of closely related activities which has to carry out by a researcher. Research process requires patience. There is no measure that shows your research is the best. It is an art rather than a science. Following are the main steps in social or business research process. So the first one is that is selection of research problem. Now what is selection of research problem? The selection of topic for research is a difficult job. When we select a title or research statement, then other activities would be easy to perform. So for the understanding truly the problem, it must have to discuss with colleagues, friends and experts, even your teachers. The research topic or problem should be practical, relatively important, feasible, ethically and politically acceptable. And the second step that is literature review, which is the main point, the most important point, or we can say that extensive literary survey. Now, what is literature review or extensive literary or literature survey? After the selection of research problem, the second step is that of literature, mostly connected with the topics. The availability of the literature may bring is in the research. For this purpose, academic journals, conference and government, reports and library must be studied. Well, the third point that is making a hypothesis, setting objectives and research question. Now, the development of hypothesis is a technical work, depends on the researcher experience. The hypothesis is to draw the positive and negative causes and effects aspects of a problem. Hypothesis narrows down the area of a research and keeps a researcher on the right path. After all, then we have preparing the research design. So what does preparing the research design mean? After the formulation of the problem and creating hypothesis for it. Research design is to prepare by the researcher. It may draw the conceptual structure of the problem. Any type of research design may be made depend on the nature and purpose of the study. During our design, the information about sources, skill, time and finance is taken into consideration. After that, we have sampling. Now, what is sampling? The, res the researcher must design a sample. As you know, what does sample mean? Sample means like, actually a sample is a collection of sampling units drawn from a sampling frame or its second definition is a number of individual cases drawn from a larger population. So sample example is for example there are thousand students now these thousand students are called population but taking 50 students or 100 students or 500 students that comes in the category of sample. So this is called sampling or sample. Now so we are talking about steps in research process. Now sampling Sampling is like I said that the researcher must design a sample. It is a plan for taking its respondents from a specific areas or universe. The sample may be of two types, probability sampling and non-probability sampling. Probability sampling ensures every unit has a known non-zero probability of selection within the target population. If there is no feasible alternative, a non-probability sampling method may be employed. After all, we have data collection. So data collection is the most important work in research. 
and the most important work for researcher the collection of information must be containing on facts that should be based on facts which is from the following two types of researcher primary data collection primary data collection may be from the following now the primary data can be taken from the following sources for example experiments questionnaire asking questions observation interviews books or artifacts that can be used for textual analysis the second one is secondary data collection it has also the following categories review of literature official and non official reports library approach with the variation in the types of data qualitative or quantitative to be collected the method of data collection also varies the most common means for collecting qualitative data is structured interview surveys telephone interview secondary sources such as the census vital registration records official documents and previous surveys etc qualitative data are collecting mainly through in depth interviews focus group discussions key informal interviews yeah informal interviews observational studies and then we have data analysis after data collection we have to analyze that data that is called data analysis when data is collected it is forwarded for analysis which is the most technical job data analysis may be divided into two main categories the first one is data processing it is a subdivided into the following data editing data coding data classification data tabulation data presentation data measurement and the second one that is data exposition the first is data processing the second is data exposition now what comes in data exposition data exposition has the following sub categories description analysis explanation narration conclusions or findings recommendations or suggestions after all then we have hypothesis testing so research data is then forwarded to test the hypothesis do the hypothesis are related to the facts or not to find the answer the process of testing hypothesis is undertaken which may result in accepting or rejecting the hypothesis and after hypothesis testing we have generalization and interpretation the acceptable hypothesis is possible for researcher to arrival at the process of generalize or to make a theory some types of research has no hypothesis for which researcher depends upon on theory which is known as interpretation it can also have future recommendations like preparation for of report a researcher now this is preparation of report a researcher should prepare a report for which he has done in his work he must keep in his mind the following points now we have to know those points what are those points which the researcher should keep in his mind or in her mind the first one is report design in primary stages now what comes in report design in primary stages the report should carry a little a title brief introduction of the problem and background followed by acknowledgement there should be a table of contents graphs and charts the second is main text of the report it should contain objectives hypothesis explanations and methodology of the research it must be divided into chapters and every chapter explains separate title in each summary of the findings should be enlisted the last section would be clearly of conclusions to show the main theme of the research study closing the report so what comes in closing the report after the preparation of report the last step in research process contains of bibliography references appendices index and maps or charts for illustration for the purpose the information should more be clearer or should be clear so these were the steps of research process we have discussed 10 process 10 research process steps 
and this was all about today's i hope this video has been helpful for you if this video has sparked your interest i request you suggest you to like share comment and do subscribe to the channel because i upload such kind of videos on daily basis see you in the next video take care of yourself allah hafiz